morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today we need to have a little bit of a look at all of the new cards that are coming around in the Sylveon and Cerulege EX decks. Now I showed you these decks a little while ago, and we've already looked at a bunch of cards from them. I've shown you the Sylveon and Cerulege EX, for instance, which just as a side note, we, we should not just put these to one side. The Sylveon, I think, is very, very interesting because we've got free energy and you can just put two of your opponent's bench Pokemon back to their deck, although you can't use it two turns in a row for fairly obvious reasons. And then we've got the Cerulege that I really like because for a single fire energy, 30 damage plus 20 more for each energy card in your discard pile, which I just think sounds like fun. And I showed you the Apex. Now, the Apex, I think, are where these decks really shine. And remember, they have... They, technically, they've not been confirmed to be coming in Surging Sparks. But they've been confirmed to be coming in Surging Sparks. So, we've got ourselves, for instance, the one that lets you search for as many basic Pokemon as you like and put them onto your bench. And we got the one that lets you discard five cards from your deck. And as a side note here... They've basically confirmed the cards from this deck are coming in Surging Sparks. Because we know there are eight A specs in Surging Sparks, that's three from each of the two Japanese sets, and then we're missing two A specs. And the only place that we know that it's even remotely possible they might be coming from at this stage are these two decks. Technically not confirmed, but come on, ladies and gentlemen, it's as good as confirmed. So expect these cards, all of the cards I'm showing you here, expect to essentially be coming as part of Surging Sparks. Now, one thing we need to start off here, we need to talk about the Zapdos. Because you see, I showed you there, actually probably this morning, I showed you, or earlier on today, depending on time zones, I showed you this Zapdos. And I told you that this Zapdos was extremely strange, because it was essentially a card that we were seeing for the first time in English, which doesn't really happen. And I told you we didn't know whether Zapdos and the free pack blister was actually going to be coming. Yeah, it's coming in the Cerulege and Sylveon decks. Specifically, it's in the Sylveon deck if you want to be pedantic. And I assumed it would be revealed this morning in Japan. That was what made the most sense. But it was still weird that it got shown off to us first. Because that stuff just generally doesn't happen. And it's honestly kind of weird that it did. And I know we got it really quickly. But that's not the point, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the point. Remember, it's got a really, really nice attack. That for two energy does 20 damage base. Plus 10 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. Basically, it will finish off anything you've given a decent hit to. And that's really good. And actually, while we're here, I should remind you of the other cards we looked at from these decks. Like, for instance, the Ho-Oh. Free energy, 100 damage. But if you've got a Terrastal Pokemon on your bench, it does 200. Love the artwork. Not a huge fan of the actual card, if I'm being honest with myself. But we've also got the Azure Marrow here, which is ridiculous. It's 4 energy, 230, 50 to itself. But if you've got a Terrastal Pokemon on your bench, you use it for a single Psychic Energy. So all of a sudden it becomes single Energy 230 on a Stage 1. That's absurd. Absolutely absurd. So just coming into this, the two A specs are great. The two EXs have a lot of potential. And Azamaru looks like a busted card. And to be fair, Zapdos looks really, really good as well. So with all of that borne in mind, what other things do we have here? Well, we've got ourselves a new Mantine. And what we've got from Mantine here is single energy and you deal 30 damage. Not particularly good. No one's getting terribly excited. But for two energy, 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And this is the classic kind of attack, which is almost good. We're almost excited. It's almost making a big difference. But the reality of the situation is 50 is not enough. 
Now, if this did 70, yeah, I'm in. If this did 70, that would be absolutely stunning. But it doesn't do 70. It does 50. If it was for one energy, maybe I'd get a bit more excited. But it's not for one energy. It's for two energy. See where we're going with this? Very almost a good card. In the end, unfortunately, not a good enough card. Now we've got ourselves a new Xerneas here. We've got single energy. No, we don't. We have two energy. 30 damage, heal 30. Not enough healing, not enough damage, too much energy, bad combination. Or free energy, 130. And during your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack. Sorry. It's just not good enough. It's another one. It just doesn't do enough damage. Sorry. There is a new Oracorio, very fitting, having just had the World Championships in Hawaii. Brings back some memories. And we've actually got a really nice attack here. Single Psychic Energy. And you get to attach two energy from your discard pile to basic energy to one of your bench Pokemon. Now, it is two energy to one of your bench Pokemon. You cannot split them up. But I'm liking attacks like this more and more. And the reason I'm liking attacks like this more and more is because we've now got Unfair Stamp. And I really like the idea of having a starter Pokemon like this, accelerating a bunch of energy, and if your opponent goes and takes an early KO, Unfair Stamp them down to two cards in hand. It's not something a lot of people are doing right now, but it's something I'm playing around with quite a lot. The idea of having a fairly weak starter Pokemon, gaining a bunch of advantage, and if your opponent takes the bait, put them down to a two-card hand. I really like this. I'm not such a fan of two energy, 20 damage, and confusion. Single energy, 20 damage, and confusion. Yeah, two energy. Nah, mate. Uh, we also have a Snorlax here. Free energy, 100 is not good enough. Single energy, 20 damage, draw a card. It's not out and out complete garbage, but this is the kind of attack I'd like much more in a limited format. But yeah, maybe if this card actually is in Surging Sparks as a pre release card, it's okay. But I think that's about the best we can say. Also, don't forget, I haven't mentioned these yet. I think these are the other two cards we've looked at previously. There is an Eevee that can evolve the turn you play it or on turn one as long as it's in the active spot. And then we do have Terra Orb as well, which just lets you search for a Terrastal Pokemon. Those are pretty good cards. Honestly, these decks as a whole are pretty good. These are nice decks. Moving on to the Cerule Edge deck, there is a nine tails we've not talked about yet. Single energy, 50 damage, plus 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Again, 30 isn't very much, although there are things around like Cleffa that do see a significant amount of play that you will be able to KO here. So, just saying, not completely out of possibility that you'll get a decent KO here. Like, I'm not saying it's great, but I am saying we do have 30 HP Pokemon like Cleffa see in play. So you might be able to get a cheeky KO here. But 50 damage is not really enough. It's on a stage one. It's not ideal. We have the other Oracorio here that's got the same attack as the first one. Attach two basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Any basic energy will do, but they both go onto the same Pokemon. You don't get to split them up. We've also got single energy 30 and discard an energy from this Pokemon, which is all right. It's not too bad. We've got ourselves a Sigilyph here, single energy, draw two, and look, 110 HP, colorless energy, draw two. Again, I don't think it's a phenomenal Pokemon, but I do think in a pre-release, for instance, this could be a great first Pokemon out. And then we've got free energy, 60 damage, flip a coin, if heads paralysis. Not great. And my boy Registeel. And I unironically like Registeel. Because we've got 60 damage for 2 energy. Plus 10 for each damage on this Pokemon. Now I don't like it as much as Zapdos. Because Zapdos is damage on the defending Pokemon. So you hit with basically anything and then finish them off. That's really good. But I do really like having here. The idea of. Your opponent hits you but doesn't KO. 
So then you come in and do pretty big damage with Registeel. Again, I'm not pretending this is a game-breaking card. It isn't. But I do think there is a little bit of potential here. Of the new cards, I mean, Zapdos is by far the best of them. Although that is one we looked at yesterday. But I do think there is a little bit of potential here with some of these. I think the two Oracorio could end up being pretty gosh darn fun here. And I'm just telling you that overall, these EX decks over in Japan, like, yeah, they're pre-constructed decks, but there are some good cards in here. We've got EXs, we've got A-Specs, we've got other good cards. And frankly, you should be looking at this and getting a little bit jealous because Japan gets these kind of pre-constructed decks and we don't, and that doesn't seem terribly fair. But I've told you about all the new cards from these decks, and now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these you think are good. Tell me which of these you're looking forward to. Tell me what you think about Surging Sparks as a whole. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all kinds of fun things. Oh, and get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely It's a Coaster who's one of the more active members over in our Discord and is a very lovely person. So shout out to them for the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.